How can an investigator help your case? Take one, three, two, one. Welcome to The Legal View with Farrah and Farrah. I'm Chuck Farrah and with me today is my partner, Eddie Farrah. And today we're going to talk about the importance of an investigator in a PI case. Eddie, what do you think about that topic? Well, Chuck, um, you know, investigators are a very important part of our law firm. And any attorney that does personal injury work has to have the qualified, competent, experienced investigator on their staff. Let me give you some reasons why you've got to have an investigator. First of all, take the typical automobile accident. A lot of people go down to the courthouse, they pay a couple of dollars, and they get the accident report, feeling they've got all the information there they need for their claim. First of all, the accident reports a lot of times are not accurate and don't have a lot of information that you need to pursue your matter. The second point is that under Florida law, you cannot rely on the accident report in a court of law. What the officer said in the accident report is not admissible. The fact that the at-fault driver received a ticket is not admissible. You cannot use that ticket against him in a court of law. So you've got to be able to prove your case by the evidence. So an investigator can go out to the scene of an accident and regardless of what the accident report says, do a reconstruction of that accident. Um, there may be debris in a particular lane of travel that shows that the accident happened in that lane. Um, there could be skid marks that need to be analyzed. There could have been witnesses who were at the scene of the accident. And that's another thing, Chuck. Witnesses, and we've been doing this for a long time, they may be excited about helping you at the beginning, but as time goes on and other things go on in their lives, they kind of lose interest and really don't want to get involved. So it's very important to talk to the witnesses immediately after the accident before their memories fade or they just decide not to get involved. Another thing you want to look at, or another uh, another something else that the investigators bring to the table is the fact that a lot of times the road construction or the layout of the road itself helps contribute to the accident and that could be another angle to pursue a lot of times um, the accident report does not address road construction type issues but that's something an investigator can look at and and bring to the table to help you get compensated for your injuries so the investigator is very important um, obvious for obvious reasons and um, I know Chuck, you've got, uh, we do a lot of slip and fall cases and um, there's some investigation on those, aren't there? There is. Slip and fall cases um, are, are cases that really depend on the, the evidence and what's found in the investigation side of the case. Uh, the slip and fall case normally happens, a lot of times it happens in a big box store uh, where someone's shopping and they slip and fall. And in that situation, most often than not, there's a report prepared by the management of the premises or of the store. And uh, typically the, the client will give their version of the facts and there may be witnesses on that uh, given and placed on that report. And uh, our client normally walks away thinking everything's gonna be okay because this report has been filled out. Uh, but it, to their surprise, uh, uh, it, they're gonna, the client normally is surprised when they find out that this report is not uh, obtainable that uh, the courts, the law in Florida, and probably in most states, prevent uh, the, the injured party from obtaining that report because it's considered work product. And um, so therefore, the investigation side of the case becomes so valuable because that report is not, is not accessible to us. We have to do our own investigation. And that means, hopefully, that the client has gained witnesses' names and, and phone numbers or contact information. Um, other things that we'll do are is, is we'll preserve the, uh, any physical evidence that can be found at the scene. For instance, videotape of the, of the area will be preserved by a special letter that we'll send out to, to the defendant or to the owner of the property. And so uh, slip and fall cases really bring on an added dimension when it comes to investigation because you're not dealing with um, accident reports that are accessible, although accident reports aren't admissible in court, we can still yeah. uh, obtain possession of it and use it to help us investigate. Well, sure. That's not the case in a slip and fall accident. You brought up a good point about the surveillance films because um, all these big box stores, most, most places of business have these films, uh, even in the parking lots. But right. Isn't there a time limit? Like we've been down this road before where people try to handle the case on their own and they come to us to, you know, to help them out and the surveillance is gone. Right, because that yeah. film is normally you know destroyed or taped over after a certain amount of time yeah. and so uh, yeah the, the sooner that you can send the preservation letter which is a letter that documents 
that there is video and that we're demanding that the video be preserved, that letter has to be sent out immediately because of the, the, the fact that it could be erased. Yeah, even in car accidents a lot of times these days you find, as we all know, there are um, movie cameras or cameras at intersections and so you've got to get those preserved also because those can be destroyed later on if you don't act quick enough. I'll tell you there's a case we, you handled uh, recently, Chuck, that I thought was really interesting about a slip and fall at a big box store where um, you know we went out to the scene of the accident a few days later after the accident to see where our client had fallen and uh, determined that there was a leaky roof involved. And um, right. we found it. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, that was a type of case. That was a typical fall down case at a big box store where our client slipped and fell on water. So, you know, typically you think, well, if they slip and fall, fell on water, then the water's not going to be there two days after the, after the incident. But uh, anyhow, our investigator decided to visit the scene and uh, just to find, see what they could find. And when they arrived at the aisle on the particular aisle where, where our client fell, he noticed that the roof, it was raining that day, and he noticed that the roof was leaking water, uh, rainwater. And we were able to show that that's what caused our client to fall. Yeah, I think they had like a trash can there at the exact point where our client fell. Right. And it had to be raining the same day our client fell. Yeah, was there were there. consecutive days of rain, yeah. and that's how we were able to, to show that. Yeah. Uh, so you never know what you're going to find when you get out there. That's I think the bottom that, line that is but the one thing you got to do is make sure that um, that you gain all the evidence you can at the scene provide that to the lawyer and then the lawyer should be able to take it from there through his investigator sure